Welcome to the opening travel log of the new post-COVID 2021 summer travel season uh, featuring Holly and Harvey Travels. Uh, today we're headed to southern Utah to Zion National Park. It's been on our bucket list for many years and uh, we're traveling in our new, newly purchased 2021 Toyota Highlander Hybrid and we're getting an amazing 41 miles per gallon. Uh, as you may know, rental cars are through the roof this summer and airfares aren't far behind as everyone and their brothers seem to be on the road this summer, breaking out of their post-COVID-19 prison. Now for Zion National Park. A prominent feature of the 230 square mile park is Zion Canyon, which is 15 miles long and up to 2,600 feet deep. The canyon walls are reddish and tan-colored, a Navajo sandstone, uh, which is eroded by the Virgin River. The highest peak is uh, over 8,700 feet. It's known as uh, Horse Ranch Mountain. And of course, we didn't climb that on our visit, but we did get to see it. Human habitation of the area started about 8,000 years ago with small family groups of Native Americans. And then the Mormons came in 1858 and settled there and changed the name of the park in 1937 to Zion, officially by the government. Uh, it's estimated the formations were formed around 150 million years ago. Uh, the purpose of Zion National Park is to preserve the dramatic geology, including Zion Canyon, and the deep and brilliant colored Navajo sandstone canyons formed by extraordinary processes of erosion at the margin of the Colorado Plateau and the purpose is to safeguard the park's wilderness character and its wild and scenic river values. Also, they want to protect evidence of human history and to provide for scenic research and the enjoyment and enlightenment of the public. If you're interested in visiting Zion, lodging in the park is available at Zion Lodge, located about halfway through Zion Canyon. There are three campgrounds that, that are available uh, south and Watchman are the first two, and then at the far southern side of the park, there's a primitive site called Lava Point, and that's in the, actually in the middle of the park. And overnight, uh, overnight camping in the backcountry also requires a permit.
If you've been here, you know how difficult it is to describe the striking beauty. I mean, it is just mind-blowing. If you haven't, put Zion on your bucket list and make it a very high priority. Holly and Harvey reporting from Zion National Park in southern Utah for CNN.